And we are joined live by Chris Williams in Lafayette right now. He's with our sister station there, KLFY. So thank you for joining us and give us an update on what's happening, please. Well, the good news is we've not had a lot of rain today. We've had some passing showers. The wind has picked up a little bit. But at this site here in Youngsville, just outside of Lafayette, people have been coming here and filling up sandbags. You can see the traffic is backed up with people coming out here wanting to protect their homes from the potential floodwaters that may come. But one of them is Victor. Victor, how long have you been coming out here to get sandbags today? About an hour, 45 minutes, came out, filled about 12, 15 bags. We see people here at the city facility. They're, they're filling these bags up quickly, trying to get out and, and fix their home up, be ready to go. How concerned are you about water coming into your place? I mean, we haven't had flooding there yet, you know, in seven years, but you got to be ready. You have to be prepared, you know, doing what we can to save our home and, and keep it, you know, in good shape. A second ago, you were joking about how the weather is right now. Does this lull you into thinking that it's not going to be as bad as you worst fear, or do you still kick it into high gear? I was in high gear. This is the calm before the storm. You know, we got to get ready for it. And you see people over here. Victor, we wish you luck. We know you want to get home and get those sandbags at your place here. You can see this place here. Let's come over here, Carly. Hi, Miss. We're live in New Orleans right now on Eyewitness News. What's your name? April. April, where do you live? In Broussard. So how many sandbags do you need to get to make sure your place is safe? Uh, we're getting about nine, three for each door, but I'm also the office manager of a doctor's office, so we also get in sandbags for the doctor's office. Have you weathered storms here in the Lafayette area before? This is my first in Broussard, but I'm originally from Generette, and it floods there. <laughs> so when they tell you that it, it's not as bad as they thought it was going to be a couple of days ago, but we just don't know what's going to happen next, you heed that caution. Yeah, it's better to be safe than sorry. Well, I know you want to get going because you got to get home and yes. take care of the house yes. there. But thank you so much thank for joining you. us. You can see, uh, again, I want to show you just how busy this place is. You can see cars parked up and down the road here. It's a gentleman coming out with a couple of young boys filling out some sandbags now. We want to make sure we stay well off the road and out of traffic so these good people in Youngsville can make sure they get the sandbags that they need. But you can see that the police are out here making sure that the traffic is moving smoothly at this area where people are really desperately want to make sure that they get all the sandbags they need before Barry moves in. Again, we look up, we can see that there are some high clouds here. We've had some showers roll through, a little bit of wind, uh, but nothing major so far this afternoon. We were in the north part of uh, the area in Lafayette a little bit earlier. We did have a couple of passing showers, nothing too major there. But again, people just waiting to see what Barry has in store for the Lafayette area. For now, I'm live in Youngsville. Chris Williams, I'm going to head back to you in New Orleans. All right, thanks.